do you have any charms and spells or you have created an evil altar in your home if you have done so please as soon as possible take it out and so this video is all about how to end the altar of hardship how to end the altar of poverty forever in your life this will help you greatly if you try it and you see great things happening in your life hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by if you are new here for the first time you are so welcome my name is pamela so on this channel i share spiritual tips and messages i don't do spiritual work i don't do shams spells you doing it rightly by applying your faith seeking god first with your prayers you see it working massively in your life just like a magic if you love spiritual tips, go on and subscribe. Turn on the bell so that whenever I upload videos, get notified and come and watch me. How to stop the altar of hardship in your life. How to make it not to manifest anymore. If you have been experiencing hardship, delay, disappointments, after this, by the grace of God, it will not be anymore in your life. Whatsoever thing that has triggered that hardship, whether it's from family, generation, or from causes placed upon you, or the one you must have brought to yourself after this, God Almighty will show you mercy and end this suffering once and for all. So I want you to do me a favor. Share this video to lots of people because I want it to go around. This is going to help lots of people. If you are living in a prayerless life, like you are not prayerful, you are always depending on a particular spell or sham for protection, to work things out, you know, like a shortcut. I want to tell you that those things may not work. It may work and it will not be forever. It will not last. So when you do something like that and you resort to sorrow, do not be surprised. The only way is through God Almighty. And if you also do spiritual work yourself using spiritual tips, natural things, like the one I display on this channel, with your faith and prayers, there's nothing that will make it not to work. Like I always say before, things that make spiritual work not to work for you, there are many of them. Okay, if you stick to the rules, do it rightly with your whole heart. Do not bear grudges and be doing spiritual work. It will not just work. So this particular one is how to break hardship in your life once and for all. Set yourself free from any altar of hardship. Whosoever that has taken your name to any strange place, to any evil altar, that says that this person will not succeed. No matter how this person labels, he or she will not succeed. It's not your portion. If you do this, especially what I'm going to tell you right now with these prayer points, it will help you greatly. The first thing is committing your life to God. If there are some things you are doing which is not right, please stop it immediately. Do you have any charms and spells or you have created an evil altar in your home? If you have done so, please, as soon as possible, take it out and give it back to whosoever that gave it to you. If you know that you don't have that power to destroy it, to break it or to burn it, please take it and give it back to the person calmly respectfully just give it back tell the person please help me to destroy it i don't need it anymore if the person start telling you oh you cannot destroy it and that please use prayers to break it destroy that sham destroy that spells that you have been using all this while for protection the only way is through god if you use all these natural things i share on my channel it's not a bad thing you are using what god created plants you are putting the power of god inside if you get it from somebody, do you know the power that the person invoke in it? That power can be harming you in your home. It can be destroying lots of things. It can be causing harm than giving you that good thing that you desired. So that is why it's good to do your spiritual work yourself. You are sure of what you are doing. For women, if you are doing spiritual work or you gave somebody money to do spiritual work for you and the person was seeing a period and preparing it, it will not work. In fact, you are just wasting your money. You, you cannot trust that person 100%. And the, power, and the power that the person invoke in that thing, because no matter anything, okay, no matter anything, there must be power in that thing. From today, if you are doing spiritual work, do it yourself. Invite the power of God, please. Pray seriously. Before you try any spiritual work, commit God. Tell God that this is what you want to do. Before you start destroying the chance that somebody gave to you, you have to equip yourself spiritually. You have to increase your spiritual life so that you be strong spiritually. So that no evil power will start harming you and your household. You have to do it rightly. So remove that evil power from your home so that prayers will be answered. If you harbor all these 
maybe even if it's a bangle, diabolic rings and shams, you know, maybe you are putting on all this evil thing, please stop it. So that when you pray for God to have mercy upon you, you are not serving two gods because you don't know the power in it and you are, you are seeking power from God. You know, there are two things. So the disadvantage, the worst part of this is that that thing that may be in your home or the one you are putting on, that the person prepared for you, that someone prepared for you, it may not be only one power. It can be that the person seeks from different demons. So break that evil altar and get an altar of God. An altar of God is, is the greatest that can erase every demonic altar in that home. I will tell you how to make an altar of God. That altar will swallow every evil altar. You know, it will erase every evil altar from that home. You just get your Bible, keep it on one side. If you are the type that burn incense or you burn uh, candlelight, anytime you are praying, just pray around that place. As you are praying, be mentioning power of God. Invite God's power. You will see great things happen. The light of God will flow in that home. Anywhere anybody is mentioning your name for evil. In any evil utter, God Almighty will swallow them up. Because God knows that you are serving him wholeheartedly without carrying shams and spares around. All those things are from evil utters, and you are harboring it in you. And also serving God, seeking from God at the same time wearing shams. Break yourself free from every demonic utter, and you'll be set free forever. Every plant, every utter that God Almighty has not planted in us shall be uprooted. Matthew 15 verse 13, it says it all. You can go through that verse. Raise an altar of prayers. Be consistent. If you are a prayerless person, please try from today to be prayerful because we are living in a spiritual world. In fact, the world is spiritual. Take notes. Be a man or woman of fervent prayers and it will help you greatly. So these prayers I'm going to be saying now, take notes. Use these prayer points and break yourself free from every demonic power, every altar holding you, even if it's a generational altar that your forefathers, grandfathers has done, making you to be involved spiritually. Break yourself free and you'll be set free forever. You pray like this, Father Lord, I thank you for my life. I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for everything I have. I thank you for always protecting me. That God is protecting you is not by your power. It's the power of God. God is giving you another chance all the time. Appreciate him. Tell him that you appreciate him for the power, for the grace, for the favor, for protecting you, for protecting you and your family, that no evil is happening. And that is because of God. And in prayer like this, by the blood of Jesus Christ, purge me from every iniquities and wash me clean by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash me clean. Plead for mercy so that any evil thing you must have done, God will have mercy and pardon your iniquities. Then in prayer like this, let every altar of hardship in my life be destroyed now and be destroyed forever. Let the fire from heaven burn down every evil altar mentioning my name. Burn down every evil altar harboring my image. From today, let the fire of God come down from heaven. Burn down every evil altar speaking negatively in my life and any members of my household. Use the power of God to destroy them that want to destroy you. You can check Psalm 35. You can read it through. Psalm 35 is a battle prayer. God will see you through and deliver you from every evil altar. From any evil altar, anybody has submitted your name. They have paid that person to destroy you. Who is that person? Let the power of God swallow that person that wants to do that evil work for you. And swallow the person that used his or her leg to go to any evil altar to report you. As long as your hands are clean, God Almighty will vindicate you and set you free. That evil altar will swallow them up. Let every secret altar fighting my glory and the way out be revealed to me in Jesus name. Let every secret altar fighting my glory and the way out be revealed to me in Jesus name. This is very important, especially before you go to bed. Pray that God should reveal every evil altar fighting your glory. It can be utter a little thing that you are, you are harboring in your home. It can be fighting your glory, fighting your joy, making your prayers not to be answered, making God not to hear you. Let it be revealed to you so that it pack them out and destroy. It can be the one you have forgotten. If you are the type that is always buying and keeping, buying and keeping, please remove it as soon as possible and welcome the power of God. Let the power of God take charge and dominate in that home. Then the last one, yeah, there are many, but I'm going to end here. Let any altar operating in my family 
be it from my father's house, from my mother's house, from generation, let it be broken and consumed now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let every evil altar, any evil altar from any part of the world, be destroyed and be destroyed forever. Let every cause operating from my family, my father's house, let it be broken and set me free so that I will succeed in everything I'm doing. In Jesus' name. So go on and start saying these prayers. Remember to follow the steps and God Almighty will guide you and lead you. You will not be put to shame. That altar of hardship shall be broken forever and you start succeeding. You start seeing light. Your destiny will shine and shine forever. May God bless you all. Please take note. I don't do spiritual work, okay? If you see those people posting those things, please report that page. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this video to everyone. Remember less as always. I'll see you in my next video.